Does the G-spot really exist? What is the role of sexual education in preventing sexually transmitted infections? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. The G-spot is a zone in the vagina believed to provide intense pleasure to some women. While its existence and location are debated, many women report increased arousal and orgasms by stimulating this area. Sexual education plays a crucial role in preventing sexually transmitted infections, STIs, by providing information about safe practices, the use of protection methods, and promoting open communication. It empowers individuals to make informed decisions, reduce the risk of STIs, and promote safe sexual practices. Diversity of genitals. The shape and size of genitals can vary widely among different individuals, reflecting the natural diversity of the human body. Diversity of sexual orientations. In addition to heterosexuality, there is a wide range of sexual orientations, including homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, asexuality, and more, reflecting human diversity in terms of attraction and desire. Diversity of sexual practices. Sexual practices vary widely among people and cultures, and what works for one couple may not be suitable for another. Open communication and mutual exploration are key to a satisfying sex life. Dominance positions. There are women who enjoy taking on a dominant role in sexual activity, preferring positions that give them greater control, such as reverse cowgirl or inverted lotus. Dual stimulation toys. Toys designed to provide simultaneous stimulation of the clitoris and G-spot, such as rabbit vibrators, are popular among women and can lead to more intense and satisfying orgasms. Eco-friendly toys. With the rise of environmental awareness, Sex toys made from eco-friendly and sustainable materials, such as bioplastics and recyclable silicone, have emerged. Edging technique. Edging, also known as getting close to the edge, involves stopping stimulation just before reaching orgasm to prolong pleasure and increase the intensity of the climax when finally allowed. Education and awareness. Comprehensive sexual education, which includes information about STD prevention, consent, and access to sexual and reproductive health services, is essential for effectively addressing the issue of STDs. Effects of wet dreams, wet dreams, or nocturnal emissions are involuntary orgasms that occur during sleep. They are often related to erotic dreams and are more common in men. Effects on neuroscience. Studies have shown that exposure to pornography can affect brain plasticity and the brain's response to sexual stimuli, altering sexual perception and preferences. Ejaculation issues. Men may experience various ejaculation-related problems, such as premature ejaculation, delayed ejaculation, difficulty reaching orgasm, or an ejaculation, inability to ejaculate. Emerging STDs. In addition to well-known STDs such as chlamydia and gonorrhea, new STDs are emerging, such as the Zika virus and lymphogranuloma venarium LGV, posing additional challenges for public health. Emotional connection. For many women, the emotional connection with their partner plays a significant role in their enjoyment of sexual positions, often prioritizing intimacy and closeness over physical technique. Emotional strength. The ability to handle emotional situations maturely and balanced is an attractive trait. Empowerment of the partner. Valuing and supporting the growth and success of the partner is important in a relationship. Erectile. Dysfunction and aging. While erectile dysfunction becomes more common with age, it is not an inevitable consequence of aging. Many older men can still enjoy a satisfying sex life with proper treatment and support. Erectile dysfunction and cardiovascular diseases. Erectile dysfunction can be an early sign of cardiovascular disease, as both conditions share similar risk factors, such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and obesity. 
erectile dysfunction, and diabetes. Diabetes can damage the nerves and blood vessels essential for achieving an erection, increasing the risk of erectile dysfunction in men with this condition. Erectile dysfunction and emotional state. Stress, anxiety, and depression can contribute to erectile dysfunction as they negatively affect emotional state and may interfere with sexual response. It is important to address both the physical and emotional aspects of erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction and hormonal imbalances. Hormonal imbalances, such as low testosterone levels, can contribute to erectile dysfunction in some men. Medical evaluation and appropriate treatment can help address these hormonal issues. Erectile dysfunction and obesity. Excess weight and obesity are associated with a higher risk of erectile dysfunction, as they can affect blood circulation and testosterone levels. Erectile dysfunction and orgasm. Although men with erectile dysfunction may have difficulty achieving or maintaining an erection, they can still experience orgasms, as erection and orgasm are separate processes. Erectile dysfunction and physical exercise. Regular exercise can improve cardiovascular health and reduce the risk of erectile dysfunction by promoting healthy blood flow throughout the body, including the penis. Erectile dysfunction and smoking. Smoking can damage blood vessels and reduce blood flow to the penis, which can contribute to erectile dysfunction in smokers. Erectile dysfunction is not exclusive to older men. A significant number of young men may also experience occasional erection issues, usually related to stress, anxiety, or psychological factors. Eroticism has been a source of inspiration for artists throughout history. From cave paintings to Renaissance masterpieces, the human body and sexuality have been common themes in art. Evolution of fantasies. Sexual fantasies can change over time due to life changes, new experiences, and personal discoveries. Being open to exploration and communication can enrich sexual life and intimacy in relationship. Evolution of pornography. Pornography has evolved significantly with the advent of the internet. It is now instantly accessible and offers a wide variety of content. Experimentation with sex toys. Foreplay is an ideal time to introduce sex toys into intimacy. Vibrators, massagers, and other toys can add variety and additional stimulation to the sexual experience. Exploration of spirituality. In addition to its focus on physical pleasure, the Kama Sutra also addresses spiritual and emotional aspects of sex, exploring how sexuality can be a path to spiritual connection and personal growth. Exposure therapy is a technique used to treat sexual anxiety problems, such as erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation. It involves gradual exposure to sexual situations to reduce anxiety. Facial hair. Features like sideburns, mustaches, or beards can also be attractive, depending on individual preferences. Fantasies and role-playing. Foreplay can include the exploration of sexual fantasies and role-playing, these can range from romantic scenarios to more intense and dominant roles, depending on the couple's preferences. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.